This is a quick guide on how wheel filters can be used in harm reduction. The drug is dissolved in water as usual, but preferably without adding heat. At least a full millimeter of water is best depending on the size of the syringe used for injection. We currently have two wheel filter options, small and large. The large one is best for things with a lot of filler like pills, and the small one is best for most substances that have less filler or cut. With the larger filter, they require a barrel at least three milliliters in size so they can create enough pressure to filter the mix through. So we're going to be using a small filter for this example. A sterile cotton is added to the mixture. And in this case, we're using a one milliliter barrel and it is slowly drawn up through the cotton, being sure that the end is flush with the cotton so that extra fillers don't get through. This gets rid of those larger particles that could potentially clog the wheel filter. You might be able to tell by the video that it's sort of cloudy. That's because there's still um, fillers in there or cuts in there. So next, the filter is screwed onto the barrel until it is secure. You don't want it to be lopsided at all. You want it to be flush right there. And make sure that it's just nice and tight. Something you can do at this point is to wipe the end of the filter with an alcohol wipe. You can add a sterile needle of any size um, to make the next step easier. And again, make sure that it is completely secured on there. The mix can now be backloaded into a regular insulin syringe, or it can be front-loaded. Uh, front-loading is the safer of the two options, but it requires uh, specially sized needles. Since these needles, they're just not commonly a thing that are available in arm reduction exchanges, uh, we're going to show the back-loading process. We have a sterile insulin syringe with the same volume that we're going to be filtering into it. And we're going to take the plunger out. And we want to make sure that this black part of the plunger doesn't touch anything because we don't want it to bring any contaminants into the mix. The next step is to slowly apply pressure and push through the mix into the syringe. We're doing this at an angle to try and minimize any um, air bubbles forming. So you can see we're doing this very slowly, drop by drop. Going slowly not only ensures that, um, that any contaminants aren't like forced through the filter's membrane, it helps make sure that uh, you don't end up with air pockets that would make you have to like resituate um, and juggle the air pockets out in order to make it so that uh, you could fit the whole milliliter into a similar size syringe. This is just one way of doing things. Um, as you go along and as you practice doing this, you'll be able to do it in a way that it doesn't, it only adds like a minute or so to your prep time. All right. As we can see here, not all of the liquid is transferred. That's because some is still in the filter here and in the transfer needle. Again, we want to place that so that it's not going to be the opening isn't going to be getting any contaminants in it. What we can do now is unscrew this part here. 
the barrel and draw up some air. You can draw up water instead of air. But in this case, we're just going to do it the easy way and use air to flush out that remaining liquid. So you can see that the stuff that was trapped in there is coming out now. There may be some foaming, totally normal, just due to how small the pores in the filter are. If you want to do a wash on your mix, you can uh, repeat this process with um, adding more water to the mixer and going through all that. Some of you already may know this, but I'm just going to show it in case you don't. You want to lightly attach the plunger to the very bottom part there and shake the air bubble up. Once the air bubble's at the very top, you can push the plunger up. And that way, there's still some room to be able to uh, draw back. And it's ready to go. Studies show that with proper technique, the mixture can be virtually sterile and that virtually none of the desired drug is lost either. We left out a lot of details in this video just to keep it shorter, um, but you can find more info in the video description. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment with any questions.